what's going on guys welcome back to the channel welcome back to some more haiku i'm ready to be even more hyped because that's all this anime does for me <laughs> that's all this anime does man it's just and there's so much there's so much lessons to be learned when it comes on to sports anime there's a lot of um lessons of persistence never giving up inspiration you know um fighting through the the the, the um the w going over those wall those glass ceilings that you know people set up in front of you or they'll tell you oh you will never be able to do that because of this and that look at hinata hinata is how here as short as he is jumping up wanting to be the ace of this team and i have to say that is very brilliant that is very brilliant i mean it's kind of cliche but it's still brilliant <laughs> you know what i mean like i love this anime already four episodes in and i love it i love the lessons that they're trying to teach you know what i'm saying um i like to watch stuff like this because it gets you pumped up it makes you want to go and do stuff even in this quarantine times right so I like it because um, it teaches you I'm waiting to see a lot more of these characters um, as I said in my last um, my last reaction where I talked about Daichi Daichi being my favorite character so far because he's being that leader that you want to see you know what I'm saying and you can also see that his teammates actually respect him through um, what's his name Tanaka I can't remember his name right now but the ball head the ball head dude right um so you got kagiyama and hinata being on the same page trying that move that, that that is just way too quick and as i've told you guys in the last reaction that that's kind of like it's it's impossible i'm not gonna say it's impossible to do in real life because it, you could do that in real life you know but that thing is so quick and you know how accurate you have to be as a setter to actually set that up you know what I'm saying? You know, I'm curious to see um, what the liberal does in this anime. Because liberals are usually those... Liberals plays the role of basically getting those saves, man. If you want to put it in, in simple terms, liberals are basically the, the person who plays like in the back, the back set, like the back three, um, that kind of digs those... Um, like saves they do crazy saves and stuff like that like you gotta be usually liberals are very limber so i'm curious to see who's gonna play um liberal in this anime um because that's one of the the most interesting positions to me in, vo in volleyball also um i'm interested to see kageyama as the setter the spikers spikers come and go you know what i'm saying to me to me spikers are not that interested in volleyball they get you points but i don't want to say the position is boring but it kind of is because all you know what i'm saying like don't get me wrong there's a lot of technique that go in that goes into spiking ball because you got to make that split decision when you go up to spike that ball where you want to place it try to place it somewhere where nobody is at try to aim sometimes even for at the line you know what I'm saying? So I'm not going to say it's not interesting at all, but it, it is a little boring and it, it, there's not much to it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because pretty much everybody on the team can do what you do. Usually, usually everybody on the team can 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 spike. If, the, if you're playing volleyball, you should be able to spike the ball. Usually, you know what I'm saying? You should be able to spike the ball so i'm definitely um looking forward to see what they do to to make that position really interesting for me i'm pretty sure they've already done that with hinata but the others i feel like are just gonna be really cheeky and cliche that's just my opinion don't come at me you know what i'm saying i'll take it from a guy who used to play volleyball in the past guys it's it's you know what i'm saying i'm talking about real life circles not talking about the anime itself but I'm not, for me, and when I was playing, that position just, you know what I'm saying? I could do it because I was tall enough. You know what I'm saying? I could do it. He could do it. He could do it. He could do it. 
<laughs> everybody love doing it but at the same time it's a very in my opinion it doesn't take a, a a lot of skill this is just my opinion it doesn't take a lot of skill but i'm curious to see how they're going to show that for the other for the other teams because i'm guessing they're, they're i don't think there's gonna be another person because that would be too much i don't think there's gonna be another person that's as short as Inata trying to be an ace or you know or ultimate spiker you know what i'm saying um but it's already it, for for Hinata, the position is very interesting. Like, I want to see what these two do together. Because without Kageyama, he's really not... Can't really... <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, he's terrible at everything else. You know what I'm saying? Other than his quickness and spiking the ball. Like, other than that, his... is You know, he showed some skill. Like, he, he's really able to make those saves. But in the middle of a match, it doesn't seem like he can do it. But as I said... We're going along. As I said, I'm not dogging on the anime in any way because I've only watched four episodes, so I don't know. It's just my opinion. I'm giving you my real life experience with the sport. You get what I'm saying? Like I've played, I can tell you guys the sports that I played, right? I used to run, I used to run track. I played soccer for all the Americans out there. If, if you're in Europe, that's um, football, right? Um, I never played American football played basketball right i played a lot of sports when i was back in school i played cricket right um and not i'm not talking about like i played these for fun like i was played this on a competitive level i was doing all of this on a competitive level like i was a sports junkie like i love playing sports no matter what it is um you know but in the caribbean it's such a le least amount of chance. You don't have a lot of chance to really be to go pro. Like here, you can really focus on a sport in America and really go pro. You know what I'm saying? Um, you know, if you're really good. Like I was really good at track. Like I was really good at track. Um, I played goalkeeper. You know, and and wing, or if you want to call it right mid um in soccer and i played goalkeeper when because i was tall so i practiced that did i played those positions um what else did i do um in basketball you know what i'm saying i played center because you know what i'm saying nobody was as tall as me so i just played center um you know i was decent at basketball i was no prodigy okay <laughs> i was decent at basketball you know um but cricket though but cricket though you know what i'm saying i think if i really concentrated on doing cricket i could have gone pro but it wasn't that um computers came along and distracted me from a, from a lot of things like computers just it just drew all of my interest like i totally dismissed sports when computers came along the first time i sat in front of a computer ah oh, man it was like i found my dream girl <laughs> you know what i mean like i forgot about everything else and i was on track to really doing good in sports and you know what i'm saying but crick that cricket though come see me in that cricket though you know what i'm saying come see me in cricket you know what i mean come see me in that cricket though anyways guys let's jump into these reactions man i got two episodes for y'all today episode five and six and i'll see you guys for the review don't forget to hit that like button subscribe if you are new and hit that notification bell you already know i know y'all guys probably gone gonna watch the, the thing already <laughs> Yo. 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 <laughs> What's going on, guys? Welcome back from watching the um, two episodes, episodes five and six. Wow. Wow, this anime is so inspirational, man. Um, To see them coming, you know, in after kind of overcoming his anxiousness and this this happened to plenty of people you know what i'm saying it's not unique 
you know, I used to not necessarily sell the bubble guts, but I used to get serious, serious, like, um, like I want to vomit nauseous, I should say, um, before games, you know what I'm saying? You get really nervous because, because at the root of it all, you don't want to mess up. You don't want to be the reason why you lose. If you do lose, you don't want to be the reason you know what I'm saying? You just don't want to be that reason to lose. So you put overwhelming pressure and and, other, and also with people watching, you know, eventually over time you get used to it, but I can understand from Hinata's um, perspective why he's so hella nervous because this is really not his first time in front of people, but really the first time that he's with a team that has the potential to win and they're kind of in a way depending on him you know what i'm saying before it was kind of like nonchalant he just really wanted to play but now this shit is for real now he's playing with the big boys you know what i'm saying so i can understand where he's coming from um a lot of us like i used to get very nauseous you know before job interviews um you know what i'm saying just feel like i want to vomit i've vomited a couple of times before i go to job interviews like it's you know what i'm saying because you you know i know that if i don't if i don't get that job right in a way i'm going to be blaming myself i'm talking about the person of old like i'm not like that now like i've gotten as i said over time you get used to to rejection you know and you build up so much confidence like stuff like that don't really phase you anymore you know what I'm saying? So you build you build up a so-called tolerance, if you will, of these things. You know that that's just a part of life. So that's that's the reason why, um, you know, well, that's not necessarily the reason, but the motto on this channel is that reaction is a part of life. Deal with it. You know what I'm saying? Um, so for me, the way I look at it, like I can relate to that. I can relate to that. So I'm curious to learn about these guys to know who's gonna be who um and this guy that just stepped into the gym i'm guessing that this dude is a problem you know what i'm saying i'm guessing if he's if he is the setter if he's the setter for this team and the way out there introducing him i think he's going to be a problem and he's probably going to turn this around and they're going to turn it around and win i don't think karasuna is going to win this match um, I don't think it would be good storytelling if they win, if they win this match, it's a practice match. In my opinion, if I was writing this story, I would not let them win this match. Reason being it's a possibility. They might face this team in a real tournament later. So why not let them lose this and win the next one? You get what I'm saying? It would make for a better story writing wise, right? So these are things you know what i'm saying like i look at when i watch any t tv show anime whatever i'm even if i'm reading a book like certain things that are foreshadowing in a story that that are very typical that you'll see i'm not saying i wouldn't care if they won the match you know what i'm saying because if they win this one if they go ahead and play them in a real tournament later they're probably because this is one of the top four teams you get what i'm saying i don't think that all these dudes are the the real deal for for that team you get what i'm saying like they're playing they're testing out some people i don't think we've met because looking at this picture behind me there's a bunch of people in this picture that we have not met yet on this carousel team so i'm not you know we might not have met the most dangerous person on this team yet you get what I'm saying? Um, right now, we're seeing something develop. Daichi wants to see that in a quote-unquote real match. So, against a formidable team. So, for if they beat a top four team right now, you know what I'm saying? And it's not necessarily their top players on the team. I mean, that could be a good narrative too. And it could lead into them losing the next match. Because they would be prepared for that quick attack. Um... I don't I think eventually Hinata is gonna have to learn to open his damn eyes and learn how to get the Kageyama's um quick um quick um sets 
quick attack, whatever you want to call it. Um, so I think he's going to have to learn eventually. He can't, you, you know, eventually they're going to figure, figure something out, a strategy to beat this quick attack because you get what I'm saying? They're going to figure it out because he can jump where there's no defenders. But if they concentrate on him, he could go to somewhere else. But suppose they dig that ball. The ball is still back up. You know what I'm saying? If you know exactly what's going to happen, you can be prepared for it. You get what I'm saying? So if you're not, if they use Hinata as a decoy and then gives it to the, to the it, they know if they use Hinata as a decoy because we're putting three blockers over there, you know that you know where Kageyama is going. You get what I'm saying? So you can be prepared. You can send two other players to try and either block Tanaka or you, you get what I'm trying to say. So I don't want to stress that out for too long. But anyways, man, um, this was excellent two episodes um, leading into this match. I want to see what this new guy comes. You know, anytime you see a, a guy steps in when it comes on to... Um, anime and the girls are going crazy you know this dude is absolute sauce so i want to see what he's up to um and it, it, the introduction was well done with kageyama, kageyama saying i don't think this dude is there is their real setter you know um you know he coming in all late and junk too you know what i'm saying he probably think oh he probably thought that karasuna is is is, is a joke so he probably showed up late you know, but we'll see. We'll see. I'm looking forward to it. Anyways, in a couple of days, maybe, maybe Tuesday, I think I should have some more episodes out for you guys. But anyways, thank you guys so much for tuning in. As always, make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you leave a comment in the comment section. As always, if you will, I would really appreciate it. Remember, the YouTube algorithm loves engagement. Don't forget the like button and don't forget to leave a comment guys i really would appreciate if you guys could start doing that even if you don't have an opinion like one of the comments that are there you know what i'm saying um i know a lot of you guys don't have stuff to say but you know um i would appreciate it if you guys do that i would really appreciate it thank you subscribe if you're new hit that notification bell so you know when more haiku episodes are out and i will catch you guys later man peace